Yeah, 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 for sure. I'd like to welcome everyone to today's share from Harav Yaakov Zedis Mishlita, the topic of Kiddush of Leil Shabbos. To have the great Swiss is sponsoring a share call, Irgun Shiri Torah at 718-851-8651 or email ist at yeshivanet.com. Harav Smith. We had an interesting shayla. Ramay Sishahaya, someone made Kiddush. He said, Vayichulu made the guffin and then drank wine and his whole family drank with him. Miller of Suda, they realized that they did not say the actual Birchas Kiddush. I guess he was used to making a guffin and drinking. And how things happen, I stopped asking a long time ago. But that's my Shahaya. And here's old Miller of Suda, what do you do with the Kiddush? Then we had another Shaila. This happened a few months ago. A woman had a baby. She came off from the hospital Friday afternoon, very fatigued, obviously. And the kids, she went to sleep and she woke up the next morning. She had missed the Shabbos Suda, the Friday night Suda, and missed the Kiddush. The question is, what is a procedure if someone missed a Friday night Kiddush? Do you have to make up for it by day? Do you have to make two Kiddush by day? I hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid this might be Negeya in just about uh, six and a half weeks. We're going to have Purim, Shechal, Erev, Shabbos. And people that are more focused on Adol Yoda than in Zohar, Zayim, Shabbos, the Katshay, might fall asleep Friday afternoon and wake up Shabbos morning and they miss the Kiddush. And this and a host of other questions I'd like to discuss today, which is really part of a one sugya, and that is the mitzvah of Kiddush that we have on Friday night, the Leil Shabbos Kiddush. And as our derech way, to try to find one yesoid, and that is what is the nature, what is the objective or the purpose of the Kiddush of Leil Shabbos? How is it different? How is it similar to the Kiddush that we say by day? How is it similar to the Yom Tif Kiddush? And the emphasis of the fact that we know Kiddush on Friday night is a Daraisa, as the Rajbi writes in Chelek Dalet, Simerei Sadik Hey. So we have to really pay attention and understand what this Kiddush Leel Shabbos is all about. So as we'll see in Re'ez Pella, all of our Shilas, will, the answer will be the same few words, Zil Basataima. Once we understand what the Kiddush of Friday night is, I hope the rest should be simple. The emissary that the Makar of the Chi of Kiddush is the Gemara and Psacham of Kovav, where the Gemara originally assumes that the main Kiddush is by day and night is just secondary. But then the Gemara says, no, it's not true. Zachar es yoyim by Shabbos lekachoy, Zachreyu al ayayin bikinisosoy. The main Kiddush on, of, of, of Shabbos is the Friday night Kiddush. By day, it's enough bari priya gofen. So, in this few line, words of the Gemara and Shabbos, in Psachim Kovav, we'll see a, a wealth of information regarding our sugya of Kiddush Friday night. First of all, we understand the Gemara's Havamina that the main Kiddush is by day. Because as we know, if a person has a special food, and you only can have it once on Shabbos, you're supposed to keep it for the Shabbos day suda. Kvayit hayoyim is more than kvayit halayla. So I guess it makes sense to say that the Kiddush Shabbos day is more important than Friday night. But then the Gemara says, no, no, no. The main Kiddush is Friday night. Why? Ike Kiddusha balayla, the Chikadish tchilas yoyimah boyi l'kiddusha. The main Kiddush is by night. So now we have to understand why taka is Kiddush different than Oynik Shabbos, that the main part is by day? And what does it mean that the Ike Kiddush is when, the, when Shabbos begins? So as we'll see, once we understand this, we'll have the answer to many, many Shailas. So the truth is, on a simple level, the reason for the Kiddush is Kipshutai, to praise the greatness of Shabbos. The Rambam in Hilchah Shabbos, Perik Chavtes, the Chenech Mitzvah Lamed Aleph, the Rambam in Seif HaMitzvah Kufnun Hei, the Rajbin Dalet Reish Sadek Hei, 
all use different terms, but the basic Yisoyed is we have to be Meshabeach and Mimakale Shevach and Kilos the Heilig Shabbos. So the Shabbos is the way we're Makadish and we praise the Heilig Shabbos. The Ramban on Parshas Yisroi first says, like this Yisoyed, that the Ik of the Kiddush is to praise the Shabbos. And in fact, the Ramban adds a famous Yisoyed that when a person, instead of saying today is Tuesday, he says, Yoim Gimel B'Shabbos, he's Mekayim Zochah saying B'Shabbos the Kachoy. Because he's giving prominence to Shabbos. In fact, the Ramban is used by the Charedim and Peregdal and Ois Chof, that when someone says every morning, Hayoim Yoim Revi B'Shabbos, or whatever day he says, he's Mekayim Zochah saying B'Shabbos the Kachoy. B'Shabbos Alman Oibach, before he said the Yoim, he would say, Zohar Zayim B'Shabbos L'Kachay, Hayoyim Yoyim B'Sheni B'Shabbos. So we definitely see that one part of Kiddush, one reason of Kiddush is to praise the Shabbos, to give, to give uniqueness to Shabbos. But then the Ramban adds, and I guess that's more literal, L'Kachay, that we have to be Mekadesh to Shabbos, sanctify the Shabbos. Just like Vikidashtem Esnasa Chamishim Shana, just like Beznas to Mekadesh to Yoival, or Bezn the Mekadesh to Chaydesh, Zot the Ramban, that's what the mitzvah of Kiddush, Likachoy. We, little old me and you, we are activating the Shabbos, just like Bezn the Mekadesh to Chaydesh and Bezn the Mekadesh to Yoival. In other words, you need a Chalois for Shabbos to be Chal. Now, of course, I would add, and I found Baruch Hashem, the Sherla Meshiv in Madura Dalid Aleph, Ois Simon Reish Aleph, asked this Kasha, I thought Shabbos is Kvi Vakaimi. Why do you have to be Makadashit? So his Lashin is Shabbos, the Kedusha Se Chamura Ma'oid Vachaviva, his Hira Toyed Lai Sagi, the man the Kodesh is Vaimid, Rak the Tsarach Likachay Bepev. So Rabbi Isa, it comes out that according to the second reason, we are activating or validating the Shabbos. And I guess really we know that the bracha is always indicative of what the Tzuras HaMitzvah is. So if we know that the mitzvah, the bracha of Kiddush is Mekadesh HaShabbos, it's reasonable that we are Mekadesh the Shabbos. When we make Kiddush, we are activating the Shabbos. So we have basically two purposes Two objectives in the mitzvah of Kiddush. The, we'll call the Rambam's reason, even though it's many Rishonim besides the Rambam, and that is Shevach and Kilos. And now we have the Ramban's reason, we are activating the Shabbos. So to put it bluntly, the Ramban's reason is the Chalais is for Shabbos, and the, and the Rambam's reason is the Chalais on the person. We have to get ready for the Shabbos. We have to realize we're going into a day, Me'ayin Olam Haba. And the Emma says it's not a stira. They're both true. The Ramban brings both reasons. There are two purposes in Kiddush. So when the coming Shabbos was Zaychet to make Kiddush, we should have in mind both purposes. And our Pam used to always say, the Gemara says in, in Ksubis Kuv Gimel, a fascinating story, Rabbeinu HaKadosh, after his Petira, would come down to this world to spend Shabbos on this world, and he'd make Kiddush for his family. Even though he was Nifta, but the Dikim is awesome, Kriyam Chayim, and he was Makarish for his family. One Friday night, someone knocked on the door. They needed something, obviously. So the, the maid servant said, No, don't come now. Rebbe's here. So Ibn Akadish heard that. He says, Oive, now people are going to find that I come back to this world for Shabbos. But other Tzadikim don't come back to this world. It's going to be a bad reflection on other Tzadikim, and he stopped coming. So it's a, an amazing concept. Look at his Zahiris. I can't call him an Adam Lechaveroi. They were all Mason. But look at his Zahiris in Kavad Hamais. He gave up the schus of coming back for Shabbos because it'd be a bad reflection of other Tzadikim. In other words, Rabbeinu HaKadosh had Shabbos. Other Tzadikim, Nebuch, Nebuch for them. They had, they had Olam Haba. So he says, but look at the other lesson. We say in this Zmiris, Me'ein Olam Haba Yom Shabbos Menucha. But from this Gemara and Shabbos, it seems just fakert. Rabbeinu HaKadosh gave up the Olam, his Ganeid, his Olam Haba, for Shabbos. And other Tzadikim didn't have that tzchus. So maybe we should start singing, Me'ein Shabbos Olam Haba. Rabbeinu HaKadosh traded his Olam Haba for a Shabbos. 
No, as a grosser tug needs Kiddush. We have to be Kaddish to Shabbos, we have to be Kaddish ourselves. Because don't forget, when we say Friday night, it's always uh, the kickoff of Shabbos. We have a Shamru, Shavaz Vayinafash. What does Vayinafash mean? Mardash is Vay of the Nefesh. Why are we saying that now? That's 25 hours from now. The Territ says you have to realize it right now that Shabbos, as great as it is, is limited. In 25 hours, it's all over, and you know what you're just left with? Vay of the Nefesh. You need Hatzalah, but Baruch Hashem, the Psalmim, does the trick. But that's the Kedusha Shabbos. So basically, this is the Yisrael that we need, that there are two purposes of Kiddush, either to be Kaddish, the Shabbos, the Shevach and Kilis, or the Ramban's reason of actually activating the Shabbos. Now let us begin, sit up and enjoy. We'll see how many halachas we have. Zil basa time. First of all, and obviously, now we have the answer to our question. We started with a question regarding Oynik Shabbos, the day Kiddush, the day Suda, has precedence over the night, Kvayi Why regarding Kiddush is the night Kiddush the Ikah? So the answer is, it's not a kasha whatsoever. Because Kiddush, the sooner the better. As, as ASAP, as soon as possible. Fakert, we have to start the Shabbos, we have to start ourselves with the Shabbos. But there's no doubt about it that Avada, the Shabbos, they sued this more Choshev. But Kiddush, its place is as soon as possible. And that's why the Ika Kiddush is at night. And that's Shad in the Gemara, where the Gemara says as soon as possible. Because you have to achieve both objectives. Now, Avada also, when you say Kiddush, have in mind both purposes. Now we can understand what otherwise would be a plea in this Gavah. The Rambam, when he speaks about the mitzvah of Kiddush, he says there are two parts to the mitzvah of Kiddush. Kiddush and Havdalah. Now, it's strange because Havdalah is the opposite of Kiddush. And the Rambam says that Havdalah is part of Kiddush. But the boy says, Mom is a beautiful Lashitasi. The Rambam that holds that Kiddush is to praise the Shabbos. So there are two ways of praising something. How great it is, and also contrast. Look what happened when Shabbos is over. We are now Vay of the Nefesh. So the Rambam Lashitas say that Kiddush is praising Shabbos. There are two ways of doing it. Either making Kiddush or Havdalah. Havdalah shows the difference. Ah, when you see the difference, when you feel the Vay of the Nefesh, you know how great the Shabbos is. So it comes out that like the Ramban's reason that Kiddush is to validate the Shabbos, activate the Shabbos, so there's no, there's no pshat to say Abdullah is part of Kiddush. But this is a beautiful Rambam, the Shittasai, that the Abdullah is part of Kiddush. Oh. Now we also understand why the day Kiddush is only Hagafen. Because as the Ramban himself writes, once you Makadish the Shabbos, you did it. Why do you have to have another Kiddush? So if you hold that basically the Kiddush is to activate the Shabbos, so once you did it, you did it. Oh, so now you'll ask, but why do we make a day Kiddush? So there are two pshatim. The simple pshat is, you want to praise the Shabbos. So you can make another Kiddush, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Or maybe we'll use the Chsam Soif and the Tshuvas and Simon Yud Zayin. The Kiddush has Shabbos, my Sefes, my Lechas. The Shabbos is getting bigger. Maybe you need another Kiddush for day. But the embassy is, now you can understand what one of the G'dayli Yerushayinim Rabbi Nudavid in Kedush and Kuf Vav, I'm sorry, Rabbi Nudavid in Psachim Kuf Vav, holds that really the day Kiddush is not a din in Kiddush. It's a din to have the Suda on Shabbos al Yayin. And the embassy of the Rambam in Perik Lament, Halacha Tess writes, there's a mitzvah the Kvaya Suda, all three Sudas al Yayin. And that's why many chassidim have the minig that by Shalashud this even, you make the bari priya gofen. It's not a din in Kiddush. It's a din that the sud al But whatever the case is, that basically the night Kiddush has two purposes. The day Kiddush has a different nature. Maybe it's a, a smaller Kiddush, or maybe it's a din of, 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 of sud al Now we can also understand that this mitzvah of Kiddush could apply during the week. What do I mean? Like the Ramban. And we say, a yoyim gimel b'shabbos, or we say the yoyim, a yoyim ramshlishi b'shabbos, 
But that's only like the first reason that Kiddush is praising the Shabbos. But if you hold like the Ramban's second reason that Kiddush is to activate the Shabbos, that doesn't work beyond Friday night. So that's why the Ramban has both reasons, and therefore he says even during the week we could be zaycha to a mitzvah of Kiddush when we praise the Shabbos, we say in the Yom every day, or we write a letter Yom Gimel the Shabbos. That zochah is a Shabbos the Kachim. Now let me share with you a fascinating question. Someone missed Kiddush, missed the Suda. They went to sleep uh, late Friday afternoon and slept through the mo- till the next morning. They wake up. Oh, give out. What do I do? I missed the Suda and I missed. Kiddush. So the question is, how do you go from there? So, L'chair, it's Pashit, you have to have three Sudas by day. The three Sudas is not a din in Friday night, Shabbos. It's a din in Hayyayim three times. So definitely the person has to make up three Sudas. He has to work out his day to have three Sudas. But the challenging question is, how do you make, what do you do about the, the Kiddush that you missed? Do you make two Kiddush by day? Only one? What Kiddush do you say? So the answer, Rabbi, say to us is Zil Basa Taima. Now let me explain. We call it the night Kiddush, but it's Lav Dafka only at night. I would say a better, a better expression would be, it's the first Kiddush. The first Kiddush that we say activates the Shabbos like the Ramban, or is Mikadesh is praise of the Shabbos. No? And of course, as we'll, see, as we'll soon see, ASAP, the sooner the better. But when you make, when you miss Friday night and you make Kiddush Shabbos morning, it's not a tashlumen, like you're making up what you missed. You have to make Kiddush. Now you're wondering, what's the chilek, I call it tashlumen or not? So, re'ezepelem. Because there are some paiskim that say, and listen to this, when you miss the Friday night Kiddush, so Shabbos morning, you first have to make the day Kiddush and drink the wine. Then you could take a break, and then you have the next Suda, and then you make the night Kiddush. We'll soon see what that means, the night Kiddush. You don't say Vayichulu, but you make the regular night Kiddush. Now, where are they coming from? First the day Kiddush, Guffet, and then at night? The Territ is they held that if you miss Friday night, so the, the, the Kiddush you make by day is a Tashlumen. Now, just like if you miss Mayriv, what are you, what's the procedure? First Shachris, and then the makeup, so they held that if you miss the night Kiddush, first the day, and then you make up for the night Kiddush. But this is actually a plea, and I'll tell you why. Because Lamaisa, it can't be. Because as we said, it's not a Tashlumen. And once you miss the night Kiddush, you're not allowed to eat or drink even water before you make the night Kiddush. The Rabbi the Kluga in the Tshuvah's Elech HaShleim B'Simen Kuv Chavalef says, if you missed the night Kiddush, you woke up, you can't even drink water before davening because you didn't make the night Kiddush. So, Oy Bazoi, how do you drink the day Kiddush you just made? You didn't make the night Kiddush. So you're in a stickle in double jeopardy. But more so, since it's not Tashlumen, why don't you just make the regular night Kiddush? Davin, and then make the day and the night Kiddush. And of course, as the Ramah says, we'll soon see in Shulchan Aruch, in Reisha and Aleph, Siv Ches, when you have to make up the Kiddush, you make a regular Kiddush, but you don't say Vayichulu. Vayichulu was only said Friday night. That's when the world was, was finished creation. But that's why most Rishonim say that if you miss the night Kiddush, so you wake up Shabbos morning, you Davin, and then you make the regular night Kiddush. Now, fine, so you're okay. Do you have to make up another Kiddush for the day Kiddush? So you might say, well, if you have to have a, make up a Suda, so you have to make up a Kiddush. And the Chayra, this would be Mephurish in the Sharetzian. I say the Chayra for a reason. In Reish Sadik Aleph, Sif Kot and Test, the Sharetzian says, if someone did not make day Kiddush by day, make it any time by day. Because you have to make it up. How? However, it's very interesting that you don't find in the Rishonim or Shulchan Aruch that if you miss the Kiddush, you have to make two Kiddush by day. And they do say if you miss Kiddush now, you have to make Kiddush by day, but not they have to make two. Zokti Archa Shulchan, he says, Nira, Zegin a Kiddush, if you miss the night Kiddush, so you say by day the regular night Kiddush, you don't have to make another Kiddush. Aye, what happened to the day Kiddush? 
So evidently he learned that you have to make a day Kiddush because a day has to have a Kiddush. And generally, there's no other Kiddush. But if you're making up the night Kiddush by day, so you have a day, you have a Kiddush by day. So all you have to have is one night Kiddush and that's it. And I, but the problem is, I, the Sharetzian says, if you, didn't, if you missed the day Kiddush by day, make it up in the afternoon. That's not schwer. He's talking about a regular person that made Kiddush at night and didn't make the day Kiddush. No, it's still day, make the Kiddush. And Takai saw Nisan Karel's Chut Hashani Pehei Gimel, who says from the Sharetzian, is not a Raya. So here we have a double Kiddush. A person that missed the Suda and missed the Kiddush Friday night, let's say in this case of a Yeladis, I hope it won't be Negea to Purim this year. But if it does happen, you do that Davin, make the regular Shabbos Kiddush without Vayachulu, you make a Gofen and you make the regular Bracha, and then you don't need a second Kiddush in the afternoon. Ah, now we could approach the next Shiloh. Let's say someone, Nebuch was not, uh, not in his best behavior, and Friday night he was amazed and did not make Kiddush Friday night. But Baruch Hashem, Shabbos has an Ashpah. He woke up Shabbos morning, he was a full Baal tshuva. He wants to make up for the Kiddush that he missed. Does he, could he make up the Kiddush that he missed? So that's Mamash Awa Shailah. If you learn it's a regular Din Tashlumen, there's no Tashlumen for Mazer, everybody knows that, like in Davening. But since we said, according to most Rishayin, it's not a Din Tashlumen, but that's the original Zman as soon as possible, then he could make up even though he was amazed. Now, this I have a little of a problem because the Machab and Reish Ayin Aleph Siv Ches says, Im le Kiddush Belayla Bein Beshay Gebein Bemezid, Yesh le Tashlumen Lamacha Kol Ayoyim. So the Machab is the Beferit and Amazid has Tashlumen, but he calls it Tashlumen. But I don't think he means the Din Tashlumen, which is limited to Shaygi versus Mezid. He means, Hashem Mushal, you can make it up. Okay. Now, Rabbi Shlaim Bezalman and Shmir Shabbos. In Memzayim Kuvalev was asked if someone is very tired Friday night before the Suda. Can he go to sleep? But hopefully he'll wake up, but he might not wake up. We'll say, how could you do that? He might miss Kiddush. But he says, no, since like the Mechaba, if someone missed the Kiddush, he can make it up by day. So it's not the end of the world. You want to get, you want to get some rest? Get some rest and don't worry, you might, not, you might wake up anyhow. But the word is that the, the really the lumbus is that the night Kiddush is not a night Kiddush. It's the first Kiddush as soon as possible. Oh. Now let me tell you an inspiring child of someone asked. He was rather living alone and he, he, he worked the whole week and it's Friday, Shabbos, he wanted to make up for lost time and he loved learning Friday night but he was, felt he always fell asleep after a heavy suda, you know, don't forget the Mishnah Yuma Yud Ches says eating puts a person to sleep. So he wanted to, right after davening Friday night during the winter, to learn for two hours straight. Then he knows he's the easy, he learns well, then he can have a suda. Is it mutter to delay the Kiddush Friday night for two hours? And I, they, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm, I'm not making the story. Someone Pung told me this week he was invited to someone's house for Shabbos. He said, what time do you start the Suda? 8.30. You know, Tam's man was before six. He learns with his children for two hours after the, after the Havening. Now, I'm not saying you should do that. If you value your show and bias, of course. But the question is, is that Chachilah to delay the Suda? Some people have a little, a little of a shir after, after Meir during the winter. So the emphasis is that there's a concept of Zriza Magdim and Mitzvahs, that's for sure. But if you want to learn for that, it's not a chesaron of Zriza. Leil Seda, we all know the Machab, it's a Gemara, that you're not allowed to delay the Seda, but that's for a different cheshman, the children might fall asleep. So listen, this is another Zil Basa Taima. The Torah in the beginning of Reish Ayin Aleph says an Egin Echidosh. And the Machab quotes it, Kishi Yavri Lebeisa, Yemar Lechol Miyad. And Lechel, Zat Mishburah means the Kaddish Miyad. Torah has a Kiddush that you have to make Kiddush as soon as possible. Where is that coming from? So, Dr. Bach and the Beis Yosef and the Vilna Goyen, this is based on our Gemara. Since the Mitzvah, Zohar, Sayyid Meshav, is the Kaddish at night, so, Vais Vichais, the earlier the better. Why? That we understand. Both reasons, whether it's to activate the Shabbos or praise the Shabbos, like we said, ASAP, the earlier the better. And indeed, that's why the Minig is, you have to davening, you go home, you maher, go home quickly and make Kiddush. Besides the fact that staying in shul and stam schmoozing is wrong, ben adam lechaveire, ben ish the wife is waiting and he's schmoozing. 
Besides the fact that if you have guests, you're not allowed to keep guests waiting. That's uh, the Mr. Burr writes in one place. That might be uh, the issue of, Bal- of, of Balta Acher. You have a chiv to guess. Besides, you're not supposed to stam talk schmoozing. Um, the Shulchan Aruch and Shin Zayin Aleph says you're not supposed to have sikhah school on Shabbos. But now we see it. It's a bein adam l'Shabbos. The Mechabbos is as soon as possible to make Kiddush. But Rabbi Yisrael, you should know that if there's a good reason to delay the Suda, let's say this person, the wife doesn't mind, the children don't mind, and he wants to learn it for davening, then then it's mutu to delay the Kiddush. Where did I get this from? Zil Basataima. Now listen to this. The Ramami Panu lived over 400 years ago in Simon Bays. He says, now we understand the minig roiv Yisrael that don't rush home after davening. I'm sure they didn't shmoo, they probably learned. Why? Because even though there's a chi of the raisa to make kiddish, the yoytze the kiddish in davening, the yoytze what he calls kiddish bitvarim. When you daven, you said in the Kaddish HaShabbos, the yoytze the raisa of kiddish. Ah, what he's saying is, like I told you earlier, the Ika Kiddush, the Araisa, is Zohar Esayim HaShabbos, the Kachai, but doesn't necessarily need wine. Kiddush Bitvarim. Praise the Shabbos, activate the Shabbos. Who said you need a Kais? There's a Mitzvah the Rabbana, the Gemara says in Psachim, Zohar Olayayim. But the Araisa of Kiddush is Bitvarim. And the Magen Avram, on our Mechab, Yemar Maile Kaddish Lechol Miyad, he quotes his Ram Panu. And Imam spells it out and explains it. The Daraisa Yoyitza with Dvarim. The Mitzvah the Rabbana, the Chit is to make Alakois. So if you have a reason to delay the Suda, you'll be Yoyitza Yakidish with what you davened. Don't forget the same Nusach, Mekadish HaShabbos. In davening and Kiddish. So what he's saying is that there are two options to the Daraisa of Kiddish Kiddish Alakois or davening. Therefore, Initially, and again, for, for, for the most situations, we followed the Mechaba, being out the Mechaber, being Ishla Ishta, for guests and for Shabbos, go right away. But if someone has a good reason to delay the Suda, he will rely on the, the, the Kiddush Bidvarim, the Davening, with that he was Yoitza, the Mitzvah, the Rais of Kiddush. Now, obviously, it has to have a good reason. Again, learning for two hours, learning for an hour even, whatever it may be, or having a short seder after davening is good enough reason, and that would justify delaying the Kiddush. Now, I should add, Leil seder, that's not a good justification. You have to go home. Don't forget, the Gemara says, both Rabbi Yechonim and Zakeh and Rabbi Kiva did not learn Erev Pesach with the Talmidim, because you have to prepare for Leil seder. But basically we see this new Yisoy, that the Kiddush the Raisa at night is lab after Alakois. That's the Mitzvah Rabban on Alakois. Now, the next question, which someone asked Grada, he was not as brave as the first person. He wanted to make Kiddush in Shul and have cake and be Yitzhak Kiddush Magmasuda with Pasta Baba Kistin. And then he'll go home later and make Kiddush. Can you be yoitza, can you be saimach for the night kiddish on cake instead of washing? So the MS is, why not? If you hold that kiddish, that kasim of possible kissing is like pas, so why should night be different than day? And the mashmois of the shochonor and reish ayin gimbal sif hey, and the magan avram, the end of reish ayin dalid is there's no difference night and day. If you hold cake is good enough, night and day is equal. Like if I did a goyim sheet, if on the goyim, Pas mamish, but light those that all cake is good. Why is night different than day? Now I did see Rabbi Yitzchak Achan and Ein Yitzchak or Chaim Simon Yud Beis. He says no, since the night kiddush beik is a chiyav deraisa, at least bedvarim. Maybe it's more chama than the day kiddush. The day kiddush. Okay, so you want to be chayish for that shita, then you have to wash. But miyikid then we must say that if you hold cake is good enough for kiddush makom suda by day. Who had din at night? And I would add, because even if the night has a chi of the raisa to make kiddish, what is that chi of the raisa? Only bedvarim. It's only midrabbanim. You have to have a al al kais. Kiddush makom suda is a product of the mitzvah drabbanim of of al kais. So really, the chumra is only a chumra if someone has a reason, whatever the reason might be. I'll tell you what. I tell you what. Someone asked me the shaila. He was makbid not to make kiddish between the hours of six and seven. 
And once Utaka, he was delayed in, after davening, and he had a guest, and he didn't want to keep the guest waiting until after seven. So he told the guest, if you're Michael, make Kiddush on cake, and we'll join together at seven o'clock. So he have a good idea, have a good echetim to where someone could rely on Kiddush a cake as Kiddush with Makam Suda. Now, I want to just mention, if someone does that and make Kiddush on cake, let's say earlier, now he can't make another Kiddush after, when he does it, he eats the Suda. Shabbos morning, the minig, and many people have, you make Kiddush in shul, and you make on cake, and you have, again at home, that you can't lose, it's a regular guffin. But if you made the full Kiddush at night, you can't make the full Kiddush later. So if you have family, they should make the Kiddush. If you have just a wife who refuses to make Kiddush B'Shem Eifen, then you, might, you have to rely on Afisha Yatsa Moitza, and the husband could make Kiddush just for the wife, like the Allah really is, and hopefully we'll assume she's considered like an Enei Baki, and if she doesn't want to make her own, you make for her. Interesting question, which gratitude today is becoming a little more popular. The early Shabbos in a few months has become more and more popular. But some people have a problem with the early Shabbos because of the sheet of the Goyen, the Allah quotes in the beginning of Simon Reish Lamed Hay, that you should not have a Mayrev early ever, even, on Shabbos, even for early Shabbos. That was the sheet of the Goyen. So you can't, if you can't have a Mayrev early, how do you make an early Shabbos Suda? So there are those, recently you see this much more, that they make Kabbalah, Shabbos, Kabbalah Shabbos, have the Shabbos Suda, and they go back to Mayrev, they have a Mayrev with a regular late minion. The question is, is there any problem with having a Suda before Mayrev? So the embassy is, Fakir, there's a Mayrev. Because when you, when you have the early, the early Suda, you make Kiddush a la Kais. So you have the Daraisa a la Kais right then and there. The only problem is, I'll pick up all, some say the Suda should only be following Mayrev. But I want to mention a bit, the, the pre Yitzchak, a bit of the Blaz, has a true and simon test. Some say, Beshem the Goyen, that you can't do that, and he proves it's not true. Adar Abba. When you do that, you have Kiddush ala kois early, and then you have Kiddush B'tvarim when you have a Meir of Bizman. So you have an, an early Ma Kiddush and a late Kiddush and L'chayra, except for the Chesh and Al-Pikabola, it's Kulei Meir. Next question, if someone cannot make Kiddush, what are his alternatives? Whether someone's allergic to, to wine, or someone doesn't have wine, or someone stuck in a hospital the last moment, he has no wine. What alternative is there for someone that cannot make Kiddush Alayayin? So the Amos is, we have an Eitzah today. We just learned, B'Saymech on Kiddush, B'Dvarim and Davening. Boy, let's be a little more aggressive. Since there's such a concept of Kiddush B'Dvarim, why can't he just take out a Siddha, say the Nusach of Kiddush without a Kais? And he'll say, that's the Kiddush B'Dvarim. Doesn't sound right. But then again, if you're going to say there's a mitzvah of Kiddush, there is with Dvarim, why can he do that? So the embassy is that if a person cannot make Kiddush, you can't drink wine, the real eights is go hear someone else make Kiddush and be Yaitu Shemeik But talking about there is no alternative. And you have to realize this is Negeya, Yom Kippur Shachal B'Shabbos, when no one makes Kiddush. So this is another beautiful Zilbasa time. But listen to this. If there is no foreseeable Kiddush, a person cannot make Kiddush, there's no wine, whatever, he's, he has no way of making Kiddush, says Reb Kiva Ege in Reish Ayin Aleph, Sif Aleph on the Mechaba, regarding him, Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, since there is no Kiddush, because, but then again it's a regular Shabbos. Enochen Ami, a regular Yom Kippur, there's no Chi of Kiddush, even for someone that has to eat. That we know because there's no, there's no Kiddush Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, it's still Shabbos. So where do we have the Kiddush? So Kippur Kivega, we're going to rely on the Magan Avram that we learned, Ramami Panu, that you yoyitz a Kiddush B'Tfila, B'Dvarim, and therefore, and we'll talk up, I should mention, the Zichron Yehuda Chelik Beis, Reish Chav Gimel, quotes Yedidi Rab Chaim, Yosef Chaim Zonafel, they used to, Ma'ira the Olam, when Yom Kippur was Chal B'Shabbos, you should have a Ma'am Yedavin, the Friday, the, 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 the Ma'ir of Shemayin Esra, to have a Ma'am to be Yoytze, Kiddush the Raisa, B'Dvarim. What's B'Dvarim? The Nusra, Mekadosh HaShabbos, that you say, and Yom Kippur, to be Yoytze, the Kiddush B'Dvarim. 
The Shmir Shabbos in Mem Zayin or Yud Zayin and in Beis Chafei says this Lab Dafka gives a Chalbas Shabbos. Anybody who cannot make a regular Kiddush, whatever the reason may be, should have a mind to be Yitza, the Kiddush, the Raisa, with the Davening. So again, the Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos is just one example. Now, Lemaisa, I must add, at least briefly, that there are some that question the whole concept of being Yitza Kiddush in Davening. Now, if you look at the Taz, Reish Ayinal, Sivkot, the end of Sivkot in your test with the Primagodim, you see clearly that the, the Taz hold, you can't be Yitzu with Davening, Kiddush, Daraisa, Bidvarim. You're wondering, why not? So, I'll tell you, it's very simple, why not? First of all, on a regular Friday night, this past Friday night, were you Yitzu, Kiddush, Bidvarim? Did you have a mind to be Yitzu, the Mitzvah, the Raisa of Kiddush? Mitzvah, the Kavana, we pass it in Sim and Samach. Tainat de Mincha's Chenach in Mitzvah Lamar Aleph. Mr. Burr also asked this, if you, if you, you can't be Yaita the Raisa without Kavana. More so, even if your Mitzvah ain't Srikha's Kavana, but if we have a different Kavana, it makes it worse. When we dive in on a regular Friday night, we have a mind to be Yaita the Mitzvah of Fila. Kiddish, man de Kharshmei. So it's almost like a Hepach Kavana. No. Oh, so that is solvable. If you know you won't have Kiddish Balkais, have in mind to be Yitzhak Kiddush B'Tfilah. So that's solvable. But Tainat the Minchas Chinuch in Psachim Kuf Yud Zayin Rebbeis the Gemara is Mavur that part of the Kiddush has to be Zeichat Yis Mitzrayim. And you look in the davening, there's no Zeichat Yis Mitzrayim. Grab the Yom Kippur Shachal B'Shabbos, there is. Every Yom Tadur is, but not Shabbos, we'll soon see why. So therefore, Tainat the Minchas Chinuch can be Yitzhak with Kiddush and davening. I, we know there's a Kiddush B'Tvarim, that would be a Nusach that includes Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. There's another problem, a serious problem, that Mimagodim and Reish Ayandal, Zid Kot and Beis, and Eshel Avram, seems to imply that since Chazal and Mesakin, a Mitzvah that born in Alakois, they were oika, the, 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 the option of making Kiddush B'tvarim, and the only Mitzvah that I say, and the Rabbanan is Kiddush Alakois, which is frightening. That means there's no such option. Now again, this is part of a different shi'a, a big sugya, but apparently the Magan Avram and the Rami Panu held that Chazal didn't re- reject the Kiddush B'tvar. They added to also use a kais. But there are two options. You could do the Daraisa B'tvarim and you could do the Daraisa Drabonon with an ala kais. So that's why initially if someone cannot make Kiddush, what he should do is to be right to all the shitas. Go to someone else's house, be Yitz Shemei Koina. But if there's no option whatsoever, we'll rely on the Magan Avram, Ramami Panu, that you could be Yitz with davening. Now I should mention, Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, everybody is Saimach on davening. And I think even the Taz could agree, because there was never a Chi of Kiddush Ala Kois on Yom Kippur. So therefore, the only option is Bim Kaddish Shabbos with davening. Now, but one thing that no one, no Poisik says to do is, why not pick up a Siddha and say the Nusach of Kiddush without a Kais? That no one says. Because that was specifically designed for Kiddush ala Kais. To say that on a regular Friday night without a Kais is a Brachal Vatala. Hagam, I want to tell you, the Me'iri in the Nalat Mebez is Mefurish. If you can't make Kiddush ala Kais, make the Nusach without a Kais but it's not brought in any of the Paiskim. Apparently, that was only Niskan if you can make a Kiddush al So the Maisa, if someone knows that he doesn't have a, a potential Kiddush al Friday night, he should have a mind to be Yaitza, the Kiddush, with the davening, and at least you have the Daraisa as, as such. Okay, we're going to get to that soon. Mama's going to get to that very soon. Now, the Maisa, the one thing I should mention that Bechlal, as you see, Kiddush is a little more than meets the eye. Make sure that we say it right. Kiddush has, again, two parts to it. The Kiddush of Shabbos and Kiddush of the Kedusha Shabbos. Now, Lamaisa, without getting personal, so to speak, let me ask the next question. And that is that this past Friday night, when we davened, what did we have in mind? Do we want to be Yaitza, the Daraisa with davening, to make it earlier? Do we dafka want to make Kiddush ala kois? So we would have thought, why not, you know, 
Do both. Have a mind to be yaitzu with davening. So at least you make Kiddush as soon as possible. And when you get home, you'll be yaitzu ala kois. Oh, but the Chsam Soifa, in no less than four places, obviously he was very convinced about the truth of these words. He says, no. If you know you're going to make Kiddush soon, have a mind not to be yaitzu with the Kiddush you're going to say in davening. In Orachayim Simon Yudzayin, he says, you rather do Kiddush ala kois to have the premium Kiddush, Kiddush the rice ala kois. Earlier in Simon Tezvov, the Masculine is Daiti, he says, you want to call other Moritz, lots of the Chavosik, a Tikkun Chachamim. In the third place, in the Gilion and Shulchan Aruch, on the page, Reisha and Aleph, he says, it's only Yom Kippur. That Shechal B'Shabbos, we have to have a mind to be Yitzhak Kiddush. But a regular Shabbos, we dafka don't want to. And the fourth place, he writes to B'Kiva Ege, this is in Simon Chaf Aleph, regarding Havdalah, the same is true. You could be Yitzhak Havdalah to Chayn Antonu, but you want to do it a la kois. And he says a very powerful lotion. It's like Leiv Chacham in Masnim, that no Yid wants to be Yitzhak Kiddush with Davening, Kiddush or Havdalah. You want to keep the premium Kiddush. Kiddush ala kois. And if you look in the Mishnah Bruce, if cotton base, he come out says the same thing. That since you have an option of doing ala kois to have a deraisa ala kois, that's better off. So according to the Chsam Saifa, this coming Shabbos, when you make daven, and Shlomo Zalman says, so what should I do with my davening? I, I just discount it. So I give Shlomo Zalman in Miluyim Chayla Gimel Perik Mamzayin Aratazayin, have a mind with Kaddish Shabbos but fill us arvis, but not l'shem kiddush. Good, 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 good. So this is what Chassam Soifer says. Now, Avada, the same Chassam Soifer says, you could be yoitze kiddush yem kippish chal b'shabes with davening. It's not a stira. If there's going to be an eventual kiddush, put it all into the kiddush al kais. But if there is no, then Avada he goes like Magen Avram, you could be yoitze with davening. But why not do it in the optimum way? That's what the Chsam Seifa says. You could say what you want, but this is the Chsam Seifa in no less than four places. Now, what you mentioned, I'm going to get back to right now. If someone, the problem is he can't drink wine, the Mechaben Reish Ayim Bey, Sif Tes, says by night there's an option of making Kiddush on Chala. Now, since there's a novelty, let me tell you what the Mishnabur early in Reish Ayim Al, Sif Katan, Mem Aleph says, what's the procedure? So you put your hands on the Chala Dekel, the cover. You make the regular, say, by a chulu. Uncover the challah, put hands on the challahs and say the hamaytzi lechem in the Then you cover it and then you say the brach of Kiddush. After you finish, of course, you cut the challah. But please don't make another hamaytzi. Because <laughs> everybody's so used to making hamaytzi, you made hamaytzi. That is the procedure for the Kiddush a la pas. For the family, do they make their own hamoitzi? That's totally the same meaning like we do by Kiddush. Ma'isa Shehoi, a true story. Someone made Kiddush on wine, and after he drank it, he realized it was probably spoiled. He wasn't sure if it was mamish spoiled or partially spoiled, and he couldn't go to Rav. Can you please taste it? Tell me if it's spoiled. But he had a serious problem, because the, the Mishnah Bruin, Reish, Ayin Aleph, Sifkan, Ayin Ches, quote, Trumas Hadeshen, Radvaz, Magan Avram, and Taz. Listen to this. If you make Kiddush, on real spoiled wine, or you made on water thinking it was wine, you want your to the Kiddush. You have to repeat the Kiddush. I said every word in the, uh, the Kiddush, but that's how far the Kiddush Ayayin became the mitzvah. If there's no wine, you want your to the Kiddush. So this person's suffix was, what do I do with a suffix Kiddush? Do I have to repeat the Kiddush? Is it like suffix benching or not? So I didn't find this Shaila in the Paiskim, but let me tell you something fascinating. The Heilige Prima Godim, in Reish Ayinal, Sif Katan Yun Aleph, he says, Vahevi Yodeya, if your person did not make Kiddush Gans Shabbos, a very fashlat the person, and now it's Bein Hashmoshes, it's 20, 30 minutes after Shkia, right before Mayrev. What does he do? So Dr. Prima Godim, that Lamaisa, like the Magan Avram, that if you daven, you are Yodeya to the Daraisa of Kiddush. What do you still have a chiv? A drabon al hakois. Sveik a drabon al hakula. And just forget about it. But if you didn't make Kiddush, you probably didn't daven either. So where are you holding? 
Chiyav the Ra'is of Kiddush, then even Suffolk you have to make Kiddush during Ben Hashemash. Even though Ben Hashemash is a Suffolk, and Vadei called Ben Hashemash the Kaddish, the Suffolk, the Ra'is, L'chumr. Now you're wondering, how can you go make another bracha? Maybe talk it's not Shabbos. But just like when you have a Suffolk benching the Ra'is, you have to bench over. Now what's noteworthy is the Sharetzi and Sif Katan Mem Zayin has a logistical problem. Well, I don't get this. You're making Kiddush, how are you going to drink the wine? If it's late already, how are you going to eat the Makam Suda? Because maybe the Prime was talking about, you remember during Shalash Sudas, you didn't make Kiddush. I really fussed up the person. Or maybe no, Yitaka finished Shalash Sudas. But since the Chiyat to make Kiddush, that overrides the Issa, their bond of eating before Havdalah. That's how wide a Suffolk Kiddush goes. Pillar play. But here we see, Mamish, that's music to our ears. That if you hold that you can be Yaitzu with Davening, and you're Yaitzu with the Davening, so what do you have a Suffolk Ben Hashemashis? What is it, a Suffolk? The Rabbana. Now raise a pillar. The Minchas Chinuch, and our Prince of Cotton Zion says, but if you have a Suffolk Ben Hashemashis, you don't. You have to make Kiddush Avada. Why? L'shitasai, that you can't be Yaitzu with Davening, though Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, it's a regular Suffolk Dera So he says, wait a minute, but I have a better idea. Why don't you just make Havdalah and it'll be Yaitzu the Kiddush with the Havdalah? He says, no, no, no. There are two parts of the mitzvah. Kiddush and Havdalah. It's like Krishna shall Shachris and Krishna shall Arvis. Look how much beauty is one little sugya. Now, I have a problem. I'd love to have help from the Oilam. I couldn't figure one thing out. The, the, the whole suffix is Bein Hashemoshes. We don't know. It's a half hour of the Shkia. Whatever, whatever your Bein Hashemoshes is. What's the difference? What time it is? If you're still keeping Shabbos, for you it's Shabbos. I can make early Shabbos and make Kiddush Friday afternoon because it's a for Shabbos. So if my location right now, 30, 40 minutes after Shkia, if I'm still Shabbos, why can't I make Kiddush al stat? Especially like the Mishnah Bura. I was during the Shal Shudas. So I don't understand. So I talk found the Birchas Habayis, the after the Primagodim, in Memvav Yud. He says, Tak, if you didn't have a Ma'ariv yet, then you can make it, it's not a Suffolk. Man, it's not a Suffolk. It's Shabbos. Forget about the time. And I guess he learned that Primagodim Suffolk was, if you have an early Ma'ariv, I'm a Tzoyi Shabbos. So then you have a question what the status is. But if Lamaisa, it's still Shabbos. You're still extending the Shabbos. It's Shabbos. Unless I'm wrong, please correct me. Okay. Let me tell you another fascinating Shaila. Why did this Shaila comes up too often. People have problems with their vocal cords. The kids, I've had, had this more than once or twice, people can't talk. Their mamas can't even whisper. What do you do with mitzvahs? Davening and Krishna and Svira. So we spoke then that there's a Mechabashita that if a person is, can't talk with Shema he's Yaitzu with Shemei Ka'ayin Epsa, a shtikola mitzvah. But you're Eze Pella. This is another Zilbas Atayma. Zog the Pima Godim in Eishel of Ramsif Cotton Bays since he says a very big kitzah, but he says a lot. Since the mitzvah of Kiddush we learn from the Pasik, Zohar as Yayim HaShabbos, the Kachoy, Zohar is always believed, unless it says Shamar, Zok the Pima Godim, Oi Bazoi, maybe Kiddush is a mitzvah you'll have to be Mekayim, Lechatchila with Hera Kedibor. Because the mitzvah is to remember. He says, he says, Yashloima, Kivan Zacha Belev, I am Megillah Yudches. Now, what's Megillah Yudches? That Zachar, to remember Maisa Malek, but it's not enough for Machshava. You also have to do a Maisa. But by Shabbos, he's saying, maybe here Kadiba is Lechatchila. As I state in, in Prima God, in the Kavachayim, see if you use Machav into the same Chiddush. But for us, Rabbi say it's a plea. Because the mitzvah really is the kachoy. The mitzvah really is part of zohar and shamar. Shamar is zohar and shamar is the package. And the emphasis is that as early as the Torah's kahanim in the beginning of Parashat B'chukaisai, mamish deloike prima godim. It's a plea. Zohar yachol belibcha kishu oima shamar harei shmir salayv amura. Mani mekayim zohar te shayna beficha. And that is all the Rishonim use a lashin of Lekatshe Bidvarim, Dibur, Peh. The, the Tveris Yisrael in Tainis Aleph Aleph, Hitaka says Beferish, even though it says Zachar, which might be Machshava, but the word Lekatshe is definitely Bidibur. And the Minchas Chenech, Taka, and that same mitzvah quotes the Shagasariyeh, Zachar Vishamar is the mitzvah. 
So that's why Pimagodim is the grace of Pimagodim. But one thing I will say, it's very, very logical that even the Pimagodim is Moida, that since there's a Mitzvah Rabbanan of making Kiddush Allah Kois, so that's Avada Bedibor. So then even the Pimagodim would hold that Lamai Sahiro is Laf Kedibor in this respect. Now, but if some Mamish can't talk now, so we have the regular Kiddush that maybe if there's no other choice, Hera Kadiba, but that person, the Chachila, should definitely make the extra effort to hear someone say Kiddush and not rely on Hera. Question. Is there a concept of Kiddush Bidvarm on Leila Yomtiv? A person that can't make Kiddush, can he be to the davening, with davening, the mitzvah of Kiddush at Alayla? So the emphasis, the Magan Avram, and Mr. Burr, beginning of our simon, quote from the Magid Mishnah that says, Da! Kiddush B'yomtiv is the only Midra Bonan, he says, L'chol Adeis, which is a Kiddush, but that's what the Pais can quote. Yomtiv is different than Shabbos, only Midra Bonan. So we'll make the following conclusion, Oi Bazoi, if by night Shabbos, which is a Deraisa, we could rely on davening, so Yomtiv Kol Shkein, V'oid, Yomtiv has a Maila, because in the Yomtiv davening, it does say it's yes Mitzrayim, so you may be better off. But, I saw a beautiful tshuva in the McDonald's of the Yo, Chelik Al Simen Kuf Tezvav, and it's very, very Mustavra. He says, Shabbos, there are two shlav, there are two stages. The, the mitzvah der Isis bedvarim, and the Chazal added ala kois. So then you could say, well, I'll, I'll rely on the der Isis, the Rabbanon. But if you hold Yom, it's only me the Rabbanon. So what was the Takanis Chazal? Kiddush ala kois. There is no option of dvarim on Yom Tiv because it's the Rabbanon. In fact, he even says, he quotes Aruga Zabai, he says, a Chiddush Nifla. Why didn't Chazal put Yetzirah Mitzrayim into the Friday night davening? So if they Aruga Zabai, because they wanted a person to be very Nizr and Kiddush. And you should know, you're not Yitz with davening, because there's no Yetzirah Mitzrayim. But Meili says, Dr. Aruga Zabai, that's why in the Yom davening there is Yetzirah Mitzrayim. Because Yom Davin, you can't be, you, you can't be Yitz the Kiddush on Yom Tov with the davening. So you might as well put in Yetzirah Mitzrayim. Shabbos, you could be Yitzhak with davening and not Yom Tif. The original question that I began with someone that said by Hulu and Goffin did not say the Birchas HaKiddish. I didn't find this Mephorish, but we could say, well, he made a Kiddish Bidvarm ala kois. After all, he said by Hulu, the Raj says by Hulu is Yitzhak Kiddish Bidvarm. But it's not Mustafa. Because he might have been Yitzhak the Deraisa. But he was not Yaitz in the midst of the Rabbanon of Allah Kais. He had a Kais without the Nusach of Kiddush. And if you look at the Kafachai, Meresh, Ayin Aleph, Sif Kot, and Sadik Vav, he quotes a Berke Yosef, Kemat the same thing. That if he didn't say the Nusach of Kiddush, even though he has a Kais, and he was Makarish Bidvarim, but it doesn't add up. The Ikachasa min ha Seifa. Achrein Chav, I'm telling you one more beautiful point. I'm sure you see how a Vart of a Pekiva Ega is a Gansa Torah. The Magad Avram's Yisoy, the Kiddush of today was, you could be Yitz a Kiddush B'dvarim without a Kais. Come to Gabi Kiva Ega on the page in Shachon Aruch, Sif Cotton Bays, and he says, you know, Lav Dafka Kiddush B'dvarim is davening. You have to mention Shabbos. And Zaka Gabi Kiva Ega, if you say a good Shabbat a Tavu or a good in Shabbos, you Yitz the Mitzvah, the Raisa of Kiddush B'dvarim. Davening is good and also a good Shabbos. Kivegan, the Tshuva, Simen Zayin, is the same Lashem. Avad, like the Taz, that you can't be Yaitzah with Davening, you can't be Yaitzah with Good Shabbos. But, like the Magen Avram, Zakta Kivegan, Good Shabbos is good enough. Now, the Kasha, of course, is, where's the Shevach in the word Good Shabbos? Taina de Bialocha, in the end of the Maschal de Iskish, he quotes from Kivegan, but where's the Shevach? But the embassy is, it's not Rabbi Kivegan's Chiddush. Mr. Buren Shin Zayin, Sif Cotton Hay, quotes a Shla Kaddish. That Shabbos morning, don't greet your friend good morning, but better say good Shabbos. So you yoyitz in the midst of the rice, so of Zohar I say, Meshabbos the Katshoi. So Kivegis Chiddush is Dairis earlier from the Shlach Kaddish. But wait, you haven't seen anything yet. Listen to this. The Noid Behuda and Dogum Revava on our Simon Reisha in Aleph has a problem. Because we come on from Shul, Breta Mispalim, we were yoyitz like the Magad the rice of Kiddush in, in Shul. How can we might see our wives with our Kiddush? We have only a Chiyav Rabbanan. Women that didn't daven have a Chiyav Deraisa. 
Zokt, the Nebi Yehuda's Talmud, in Tshuva Meyahava, Beis Reish Lam Betes, and he was Mecham the Bikivega. I mean, he, actually before Bikivega. He says, you know, what the, you, know, you know what the Eitz is? Because the women light Tzind Licht, and they make the Bracha, Lahadik Ne'er Shal Shabbos, and that's their Kiddush, their Isa. I, girls that don't light, but they say good Shabbos, and that's the Kiddush, their Isa. So the men, women, and girls are on the same page. So you have a Bikiva Ego, you have a Shla, and you have a Noir Huza Talmud, the dog of the Chuva Meyahava. But wait, you haven't seen anything yet. The Meya Arik in Chelegal Semerej Beis, he said Bikiva Ego was Machavan to a Rajba. The Rajba says, in Dal Reis Tadakei, you yoyitz a Kiddush with any praise, via Shamru, via Chulu. So, vice the Chais, that you don't need davening. So I guess he assumed good job is also good. But wait, you haven't seen anything yet. The Chidon and Machzik Brach, Reish Ayin Aleph, Sif Kat Aleph, says he saw a Ksaviyad of the Rajah. And he, he was a big collector. And the, the Rajah Ksaviyad says the following, Yot de Chi of Kiddush, Ba Mirz Vayechulu, Oy Vishamru, Oy Lizgar Bepiv Shabbos. And that's just Zachar is a Shabbos. Just mention the word Shabbos. So you have a Rajba, a Shla, a Tshuv Mehava, Zok Tiktois HaSholchan, and Ayin Tessif Kat Nalef. He says, if you look in the Rambam, there's one Gears in the Rambam, not Zechiras Shevach, Zechiras Shabbos. So you have Abba Kivayga in, in the Rambam. He says, Lamaiz, that's not the right Gears. But he says, look at the Chidah Machzik Bracha, you'll see that just mentioning Shabbos is enough. But wait, we haven't seen anything yet. Zok Tiktoisha, since I, we say that we saw that the good Shabbos is very powerful, therefore the men could be mighty, the wives, even though they didn't daven, because they'd send the lich, they said good Shabbos. Zok Tzayis HaShulchan, the same Yisoyed. They all had the problem with the dogma of Avaz Yisoyed, and they all basically came to Rabbi Kiveiga. So look what you have from a simple Rabbi Kiveiga. It's found in Rishonim, it's a Rajva. That's how you greet someone on Shabbos, good Shabbos. That's how you might see your wife, you might see your daughters. In fact, the priest can say that's why a mitzvah boy who does not a godl the rice, so could be might see his family with Kiddush. I, the Rabbon and the Raisa, because we're all the Rabbonans. Now, this Yisoid, we have to understand, is because during the week you don't say a good Tuesday. The Zot and this is Karel, it's in Chutashani, Pei, Hey, Aleph. The fact that you say good Shabbos only on Shabbos. That's a shevach of Shabbos. It's not just schira Shabbos. You say good morning, but you don't single out good Tuesday morning. It's only Shabbos that we say a good Shabbos. So he's saying it's not just mentioning Shabbos, it's praising Shabbos. And then as you look in the Magen Avram, the crux of Zohar is the Shabbos, the Kachar, is Zohar Isa, you mentioned Shabbos. Now someone told me once, he thinks, but the, in Eretz Roll, Shabbat Shalom doesn't work. So that doesn't make sense. Because if you have to have a praise, maybe you're right. But once you're mentioning Shabbos, so you want to be very firm, say Shabbat Shalom, Umavorach. Good. But the Emma says he doesn't realize that Shabbat Shalom is a very powerful statement. Shabbos, Ishmael Shalakadish Baruchu. Shalom, Ishmael Shalakadish Baruchu. So you're pretty good with Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. But let me tell you two, uh, two more points. We once mentioned the Shail about saying Gut Vach. If you go with a, in Eretz Roll, especially a Kasser's driver, that did not make Havdalah, how could you mashlim on Mulach without Havdalah? So some say, tell him Gutavach. Now I guess they're coming from Gut Shabbos, Gutavach, Hekish. But it makes no sense to Chayyim. Because Gut Shabbos, you're being Mazgiyam Shabbos. To be Yoytza Havdalah, you have to have an Havdalah. And Takav Shlem is the Chut Hashani, says that Chilag, it doesn't make sense to say Gutavach. Another Gutavach that I found fascinating. The Maiserav of the girl of the guy in Simon Kufay and Dalid said it was very makbid that when you make Havdola on Matsoi Yomtiv, let's say Yomtiv on Tuesday, Tuesday night, you make Havdola, don't say Agut Tevach, say Agut Yomtiv, I'm Agut Amoyid. That's the guy says. So I saw a Davanifla Moyid. Some say, who are then you shouldn't say Shavua Tov when you make Havdola on Matsoi Yomtiv? Because it's like Gut so in the back of Maiserav, there Hagoyis, I don't know who wrote it, but it was a beautiful Yisoyed. He says, the embassies, 
The Goyen says not to say a good tevach on Mitzoy Yom Tiv. Why doesn't he not say a good tevach on Mitzoy Shabbos, which is Chayla Mayid? He says a beautiful point. Good tevach, who said it means weekday, which is a zilzo to Yom Tiv? Vach means a week. I'm wishing you a good week. What's wrong with saying good week? So he said, that's why the Goyen's kapei the was not to say good tevach on a Mitzoy Yom Tiv. It's Tuesday night, Wednesday night. There's no more week. What do you mean, good to vach? You must mean vachadik. Oh, that's a zilzal. But Mitzayi Shabbos, when you make Abdali, you could say good to vach. So look how the word vach is so meduyik. And last but not least, what someone told me, I hear recently it became very popular, a new chumrah, that Friday afternoon you don't tell someone a good Shabbos, you say a good and Arab Shabbos. Now, that's problematic because you're walking out of the house Friday afternoon, your wife sent the lech, you know, a good air of Shabbos. It's like insulting. But what's wrong with saying a good Shabbos, air of Shabbos? So people say it's based on Arab Kiva Ega. If you could be Yaitz uh, Kiddush with good Shabbos, so if you say good Shabbos, you're going to be Makabal Shabbos. Now, does that make sense? You're driving home from Shul and you come to red light and you pull up next to a friend and you say, a good Shabbos to you. So you both made Shabbos. Kvega only said you yoyed to the mitzvah of Kiddush, maybe. But who said that's a Balkarche Kabbalah Shabbos? Doesn't make sense. So I saw Taka Alicha Shleiman Bey's Hora 44. He says, Lamais is based on Kvega, even though it's a Kiddush. But Lamais, again, when you walk out of your house Friday afternoon and you tell your wife a good in Shabbos, you're still out of Davin Mincha because it's not yet Shabbos. I got to talk to you all. We feel here Shabbos. Can I know Rabbi Hashem? B'shem Igush Shatera would like to thank Rabbi Smith for the wonderful, wonderful Shia of Hashem. The Eved Shalvei Vaita. Rabbi Smith, want to remind the Olam again that Igush Shatera right now all over the world has the Mifal Hashoivim Haylam in your day Chelik Beis. Tens of thousands of Eden in America. Tens of thousands of Eden in Israel are hiding in Bagong Tishur, Mitzras, Meshpacha, Chizik Abayis in Europe. Hundreds of thousands of luchos were given worldwide to Chazad Alochas of Shechon Aruch in these days. Over ten languages, all different people, fry people, people that never learned, they're trying to learn, become El Chidin. And you can have the schus of sponsoring Taras from Shpacha worldwide. Rabbi Isai, it's a big schus. Think about it. People, Yiddish Kinderach, have Heilig Gedoyres in this schus by helping Igen Shatari right now in this time of Shoivavim is a schus of Tshuva, schus for good the Kinder, schus of Tahara, Fazicha for the Kinder. So the Eve should help in the schus that everybody is going to Shurim and Mim Chazik. We should all have Yeshuas, Nishvisim and Katsuris, and Yedrom Panosu, Berev, Achanachas from the Kinder and Achovat Sadas. And we should be Zoycha to be his God, Tzedek, Bemheda, Bemeno, Amen. Amen.